All right, guys, we got tons of more news that Microsoft is making moves in the gaming industry, in the gaming world. We talk about that, and they also sent us a killer goodie item again for yours truly to open up and try out. So tune in. All right, we are back yet again with another box from Xbox. I'm Tyler Endress, founder and CEO of Esports Arena, here to open another box. I think we should get right to it. I'll take a look at the box. There you go, all in its glory right there. Not much on the box itself, it says. It's compatible for Series X uh, and Series S, Xbox One, and Windows 10. Xbox wireless headset. Simple, that's cool, didn't go all crazy with the name or something like that. So I like that, that's neat. Probably take phone calls. That'd be kind of cool. Crystal clear chat. It's flexible, it's lightweight, and glasses friendly. 2020. Oh geez, it was that quick. I didn't even tell, I even christened the unboxing. It just like came off. Let's see, here we go. Wow, perfect. Timing, we're good. We are good. <laughs> that looks good. I actually, that does look pretty sick. All in all, feels. I like the lightweight. Does this thing retract? The no, it doesn't. Don't try. Just kidding. Actually, it's probably not too bad. Protective cover over the microphone. I did notice on the website that you can actually turn these things. And then what's this? It's a button. Oh, I just turned it on. All right. You're getting live. You're getting it live. We're doing it live. I wonder if it looks a little goofy, kind of with the with the um, like the jut out of that. Like it's simple. I'm all about simple. Xbox likes to keep it simple, but it feels comfortable. I think it's got memory foam. It said on the inside of this, so it's gonna sit well in your ears. I do kind of have bigger ears, so well, you know I'm a good tester for this. So here we go. Let's don it. Let's don the headset. Does it go down? Is it adjustable? Do I have to unlock it? Oh, that was weird. We'll call it user error. <laughs> Looking at myself. It's a headset. I don't, is that weird? Does it come out a little too much? Does it come out a little too far? I don't think I'd be, you know, walking the streets, listening to music and talking to people on this. I personally probably wouldn't do that. It is more like a DJ type of headset to where like if I'm a DJ, I love to Xbox, maybe I could use both. That'd be sick. Like, oh yeah, no, let me turn the volume up. <laughs> that look, that this is the act this is actually pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is so yeah, I think this feels pretty comfortable. Could I game in this for hours? I feel like I could, because that's my ultimate test, right? For me, my ears start hurting after a while. That's why I really haven't strayed away too far from my headset you know, a long time ago. This does feel pretty comfortable. And this isn't intrusive. Like this is kind of nice how it's just like, I don't know, it's like hanging off. It's not too bad. It's not like in your face right here uh, to where you always hear your buddy's breathing on the microphone. You can't bite it. <laughs> Uh, as far as rest of the box goes, there's a few other things in here, probably just some stuff that you could probably read mostly online anyway. This is like my CVS receipt. I um, think that's it, you guys. I think it's pretty comfortable. I like the lightweightness and I think it's a unique looking headset. I love the simplicity of it. I love this, that you can turn the volume up directly on your headset, especially if you're walking around the house or whatever and you're trying to find that one button that turns up the volume but this you just twist this is just simple and it's nice and it's innovative which is really cool so um yeah i'm gonna take off the headset now i was probably talking much louder with that on <laughs> i guess that that's it as far as my physical review of the product actually handling the product wearing the product uh, yeah, like I said, I give it an A as far as just style and all that sort of stuff. And I think Microsoft and Xbox did a great job designing this. So thanks for sending it our way. Let's play some games. Hello, can you hear me? I mean, it sounds really good in here too. Oh my God. Oh my God, are you serious? I am literally doing this right now. Oh my God. And I'm listening to music. 
And this is quick, dude. Everything is wireless. It's fucking Halo 5, dude. Oh my god, you guys. This has got this is so much better than it was before. I'm still listening to music. I'm still in Discord. And I'm playing Halo. What the f Are you kidding me with this Xbox? Oh, out of ammo switch. Oh, I can hear it. Yeah, she's not loud enough. All right, guys. So quickly, just set it up. We got the Xbox in the other room and I have my phone right in front of me. This is still insane to me. So my wireless headset connected to my phone. I was listening to music. I'm in Discord on my phone and I'm playing Halo 5 Guardians with a controller all on this little device. This is, this is insane. So you've all probably saw it on Twitter, you saw it on Reddit, you saw it on Facebook, you saw it on Instagram, your mom probably texted you about it, but Xbox, Microsoft has acquired Bethesda. So congrats to Bethesda, first of all, because that's awesome. I mean, games like Fallout, games like Doom, Elder Scrolls, combined with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, that's huge. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate is where all the games are for you to go play. All you have to do is just pay a monthly subscription. I think a lot of people don't necessarily quite understand like really what it is, but it is a Netflix for video games that Microsoft is supplying to you through your PC and through your Xbox. And you can combine those both which is so sick. So huge congrats to Bethesda for being acquired by Microsoft and great move by Microsoft for grabbing one of the top tier game developers in our industry and now having all those games on there. And not to mention, I guess what they're doing, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate has said that newer titles will solely be exclusive to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. So this is probably Microsoft's first of many steps of what they're doing to enhance the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate experience. Congrats to both parties. That's huge news. In other Microsoft news, we are teaming up with Kellogg's and Microsoft with Halo 5 and hosting a $25,000 tournament. What? That's right, you heard it here for the 28th time. $25,000 tournament for Halo 5. Halo 5 Guardians is already out. We host our Halo Sundays. We do this tournament all the time, so we figured why not amp it up a bit and put it on a box? Cheese its ever heard of them? It's free entry. If you just buy these products that you're probably already buying anyway uh, to compete in this $25,000 Halo 5 tournament. That's some incredible news. Kellogg's is always doing things like this. It's such a missed opportunity if you do not sign up for stuff like this. And it's a free for all Halo 5 tournament. $25,000 Halo 5 tournament, Kellogg's. Thanks so much for the support. Xbox, Microsoft, the biggest news they've announced yet to date. All right. Thank you all so much for tuning in to What's New with Microsoft with Tyler. Sounding off here at the Esports Arena Studios. We'll see you guys next time when Microsoft makes another big splash in the industry.